Something else that is important is that Joe's Hot Dog sign says Joe's Hot Dogs. The sign does not say Joe's Hot Dogs with the best-selling French fries since 1976. Nor does it say Joe's Hot Dogs get your favorite coffee. It does not say Joe's Hot Dogs come here for pop. It does not say Joe's Hot Dogs come here for homegrown, homemade relish. It just says Joe's Hot Dogs. One of the lessons that come from that is that Joe's Hot Dog's reputation, through its name at least, is a simple one. The Joe's Hot Dog name carries with it the cultural assumption that there are probably beverages, there are probably onion rings and French fries, there might even be such things as homemade relish. How does the name Joe's Hot Dogs imply that there might be homemade relish? Well, it doesn't say McDonald's. People know that McDonald's does not offer homemade relish. The name Joe suggests something that might not be true about Joe's. There is an individual named Joe, Joanne, Joseph, Josephine. Who's to say who it is? Often, a name carries enough implications that no one has to say Joe's hot dogs with homemade relish, or Joe's hot dogs we have great French fries. The name Joe's hot dogs not only implies Joe's menu, but also it implies the possibility of homemade relish more than the name Holiday Inn might. Or more than the name U-Haul might, so a company name is important in ways that are subtle. Now, sometimes people bank on or have strong expectations for their name. For example, why doesn't the whole world read my mind? Don't they realize I have the best homemade relish? These are unwise assumptions. However, it is also unwise to name your company Low Budget Rental and assume that people will buy lots of French fries from you. Cultural awareness, especially including the implications of a name, is important in marketing products. Just don't get witty with your wording. The greater the number of people who encounter your concept, the lower the common denominator of their savvy.